Wow, Crex Meadows at dawn, dead calm. So much stuff singing. We have Dick Thistle, Eastern Toey over here, Field Sparrow down the road, Clay Colored Sparrow. There's the Toey, Green Frogs plunking, E Buzz Buzz, Golden Winged Warbler. Just had a bald eagle sitting up here. Kind of looking out, doing a little early morning hunting. He was uh, attacked. Eastern Kingbird actually landed on the back of the eagle, as you can see in the video, and started kind of pecking at the eagle. The eagle actually had to shake the Kingbird off its back. And Kingbirds are notorious for defending nests of birds much, much, much bigger than themselves. Let's see if I can get that. Uh... Field sparrow. I don't know if we could, if you could hear that bouncing ball song. Do 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 do. That that was bad, but that is that is the field sparrow, and uh, not a bird we get in northeast Minnesota, but down here, Crex Meadows, just a hour and half south of the sand barrens of Wisconsin. Uh, they love this savanna-like habitat, scattered trees, shrubby uh, prairie. I'm getting uh, pretty close to this male field sparrow. He's, uh, he's defending his territory pretty good. They have a little pink bill, kind of like a, uh, a junco. One way to identify them, clear breast, no markings on the breast, and that wonderful bouncing ball song. Clay colored sparrow is kind of a, the, uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can call it a beautiful song. Buzz, buzz, buzz. A real harsh buzzing call. Once again, clear breast, but they have this uh, buffy clay colored face and stripes on the head. Uh, really gorgeous, gorgeous sparrow. boots and legs got soaking wet because I was too lazy to put on my rubber boots. These toeys are frustrating me. Last time, a year or two ago, I was here to photograph them. They were very cooperative. And now they don't like me anymore. But the deer flies sure do. <laughs> deer flies are pretty bad. But a little 25% deet and a good attitude. Coming to get you, toeys.
10 a.m. almost time to switch to wildflowers and butterflies. The wildflowers this morning have been great. Uh, I got two uh, new milkweeds for the year and spider plant and the wood lilies and hoary pacoon. Just some fantastic wildflowers in the prairie today. Couple of the native lupins still blooming. Really fantastic day for milkweeds, four species. Common milkweed, of course, just starting to bloom. Swamp milkweed, starting to bloom. And then two that I'm not that familiar with, the butterfly weed, the orange milkweed, which uh, is more of a grassland species we don't get in Northeast Minnesota very commonly. And this one, which is a lifer for me. I've never seen it before. And it's only this tall. Asclepius ovalifolia dwarf. And I, oh, I'm, I can see poison ivy right there. I'm sitting in poison ivy. Great. Uh, I'm not very allergic. Yeah, four species, pretty cool. Um, and this one is the most exciting for me because it's a lifer. Sitting here in my lawn chair, enjoying a bubbly. They are not sponsors of this video. Just, just to be clear, but it is good stuff. But I'm waiting for black turns to come by and they've been kind of cruising out here Light's not great, but uh, that was one of my target species to get some nice slow motion video of. Um, but if I shoot kind of this way, it uh, light is not bad, even for high noon. And uh, they've been kind of making regular loop here, but sometimes it's 15 minutes between loops. <laughs> so patience, patience. This black turn nabbed a little fish and I don't know, maybe it was a little too muddy for its taste, but it rinsed it off in the, in the marsh a couple times. I spotted this fairly large turtle basking on a log and I instantly recognized it as a Blanding's turtle, uh, mainly because of its uh, smooth, high domed uh, shell carapace. And uh, you can see there's a little painted turtle behind it for comparison. It's bad light midday, but you can also see the diagnostic yellow throat. They are considered threatened in Minnesota, which is only about 10 miles away as a crow flies, but uh, they were removed from Wisconsin's threatened list back in uh, 2014. I saw my first one ever here about 20 years ago.
Well, thanks for joining me, Crick's Meadows near Grantsburg, Wisconsin. Superstar bird of the day for me is the field sparrow. I've been wanting to get video of that bird for a long time. Have a great week.